and the domestic market with, you know, a, a joint venture with a, with a local family. So my father said, listen, if you travel around the world, stop in Argentina, because, you know, I made, you know, sparkling wine, but there's this fabulous, you know, uh, great variety called Malbec that, you know, you know very well, because in Bordeaux we... As you know, we work, you know, also very much with Malbec. Before, they would never say Bordeaux that they were doing, they were working with Malbec. They would say, oh, Merlot, Cabernet, but everybody knows that the, the real, the best Bordeaux uh, uh, in the world have always a little bit of Malbec in their uh, blend, especially in the left bank, in the Medoc region. So, arriving in Argentina, it was, the, it was really the worst, the worst year, the worst time for to come to now imagine a project out of Argentina because 1998 was the first vintage. It was a terrible situation in Argentina. So here I hear you a lot, you know, from Brazilian friends talking about the situation in Brazil. It was, you know, come come back into the past. What was Argentina in 1998? You will feel happy to be, you know, in the situation you are right now in in Brazil. It was really a very bad year, economically, politically. And also, it was a terrible uh, vintage. So it was really the best, best year to start a project, you know, in Argentina. But what we loved with Argentina was, of course, the Malbec because it has this, you know, French, you know, background. What we love is old vines. So this we're going to talk a lot about today. Old vines. We believe that the best wines in the world are made with old vines. There was great potential, you know, with the old vines. And <clears throat> as I was telling you, the potential also to reach for balance and elegant wines with this high altitude vineyards. So this is also something very important we're going to talk because I believe that um, to get uh, quality you need in Argentina of all vines but also high altitude. And we will talk about a little bit of high altitude in Porto for us. So in 1998 we did, we said okay, you know, we're coming from small project in Bordeaux, saint emilion Pomerol. Let's buy a small also uh, property. So we bought a vineyard in uh, the district of Las Compuertas. I'm going to talk about this because we taste, we're going to taste one of the single vineyards from Las Compuertas. It was uh, six hectares, uh, planted in 1923, um, and we just saw, you know, right away the potential with these old vines, planted <clears throat> at 1,000 meters above the sea level, so really on the slope of the mountains. I don't know, have you been to Argentina? Do you know Argentina? It's really a fascinating, you know, place. The nature, you know, seeing this, you know, Andes, were the highest, you know, elevated mountain uh, in the world with, you know, on the bottom of these uh, mountains, you know, these very old, you know, um, vines really brought me to this, you know, feeling in love with, uh, with Argentina. So we started in 1998 to produce out of this uh, small vineyard of Las Compuertas, Alto, which, you know, today, thanks to our uh, very good friend of APC, we're going to have the chance to taste three vintages. So it's the third time in the history of the winery that we're going to do this. Um, and you will see why, you know, Alto is, has become one of the iconic um, wines of uh, Argentina. So 98 first vintage, terrible vintage, but the wine is amazing. And I still have the chance, uh, four months ago in Hong Kong, to have a collector who brought me a bottle of 98 to share, and it was still an incredible wine. And, and you know, at that time, Argentina was, was known to do uh, Quantity-driven wines. It was, you know, but basically people were just, you know, uh, producing the wines to be drunk in Argentina. So quality was not the priority at that time in Argentina. We saw the potential of doing, you know, quality wines. And Alto is one of these wines who changed really, <clears throat> you know, the, the Argentinian industry, showing the potential of, you know, Argentina to do quality but also quantity-driven wines. <laughs> 